Okay, I know you're proud of all your wines, but you really like your cabs, don't you? I do, you? I do. I am a Cabernet Sauvignon person. Is this sort of the favorite child? It is definitely the favorite child. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful Cabernet. This is a Cabernet that was hand-picked, hand-sorted on beautiful soils. And, um, you know, the wine was 100% free run, which, um, again, as we explained before, free run meaning that we don't use any press. So if you notice one thing about this wine, the first thing that will jump at you, obviously, is the color. color. Uh, but the second thing is when you taste it, a lot of Cabernets tend to be very hard. Uh, they'll scratch your throat or they'll bite you really bad. Usually there's two reasons why the wine, especially a Cabernet, will have that. One reason is because when you're growing in a warm climate, you tend to add acid to the wine. And when you add acid to the wine, it tends to bite you in the back here, always. And the other reason why it scratches you in your throat is because when you press the actual grapes, the Cabernet has such a thick skin that the tannins tend to be a little bit more grippy. Mm -hmm. So they grip you a little bit too much. And there's a lot of reason why, for instance, a lot of people don't like Cabernet Sauvignon, because the wine needs time to soften up and age until it softens, you know, it takes time before it softens up. Right. And in my case, I go to the extra effort of making sure that no hard tannins are used, no press, zero. Wow. And the soils that I work with are all calcareous clay and they're cooler climate. So you're able to basically hold on to the acidity without having to add any. So this wine had no acid added to it. It is 100% free run, averaging about 100 gallons a ton, you know, plus or minus five gallons, depending on the year. And if you taste it, you will see that the balance is there. And it's very important to, for me to make a Cabernet Sauvignon that is smooth, that is elegant, but that yet that has a lot of power and a lot of strength that can age as well. And, the, and Daniel's Cabernets are the ones that are winning blind tastings in Napa uh, and kind of wowing everyone. And so if you're a Cabernet fan, you want to pay attention not only to Dow, but the Cab Collective, which you're very much a part of, uh, which is sort of a collective of <laughs> the Cabernet growers that that Daniel believes are good Cabernet growers around here and really celebrating that this region is fantastic for producing award-winning Cabernets up against really Napa, Sonoma or anywhere. Or anywhere in the world, yeah. yes. Not, not just against Napa. I mean, Napa, Sonoma are beautiful regions, but we have something very unique here, starting with the soil, but the climate, the cool nights, the warm days. Uh, Paso Robles Cabernet can really make incredible Cabernet. I've tasted some 40, 35 and 40 year old bottles from Paso Robles that were made you know, back in the early 70s and they're still drinking great. Mm -hmm. a, a true testament of what a great terroir is. Yeah, mm -hmm. fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. Now what am I looking for here? First you're looking for the nose. The nose has got some beautiful, you know, elements that come in very clearly. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're basically making sure that when you taste that wine, it's not biting you anywhere. None. See, it doesn't get you here, None. it doesn't get you here. And that's really one of the main features that we look for in a Cabernet Sauvignon when I make it. That's kind of a signature of mine. Yeah, this is just an enjoyable wine. And, and there are a lot of people who love that bite to a Cabernet with a nice peppery steak. Mm -hmm. But this is a Cabernet that you could just drink a glass of, but it'll pair with all it'll kinds pour, of food. It'll pair with anything pretty much, with cheese, with uh, uh, chorizo, steaks, mm, you know, chorizo. Any, any red meat pretty much, uh, or on its own. I mean, I like it with just cheese or yeah. almonds. <laughs> yeah, or chocolate. Or chocolate, <laughs> absolutely, dark chocolate <laughs> especially, yes. Fantastic. Great. So appreciate you letting us put this in the shipment. No, it's, it's my pleasure again. You know, it's uh, Cabernet is my passion, and I hope, uh, I hope that everybody enjoys the Cabernet. It's, uh, it's close to my heart. You watch uh, Dow Vineyards and Cabernets, and I promise you're going to be pretty proud that you tasted it win. <laughs>